Ah, oh, hello, my hearties. A very, very good morning to you. Tuesday morning, nothing gets past me. Lovely to have you with us live on our Facebook live stream pop-up just for you. Welcome, 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 I say, to one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment with me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, says the wonderful Gordon Roberts. Hi, Gordon. Are you on time this morning? Welcome. Carl Kylist Donnelly is watching. Dinky do. And uh, come and join us, folks. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Get the word round there and say, Scotty McClue's live. We need to go and join him. How are you today? Fine, Gordon. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. And a warm welcome. And I hope you are well. And uh, surviving the old lockdown, of course. Uh, Dinky Doo Scotty says, Jack, Jack, welcome. Wonderful. Down in Gurick there. Long shanks, Leonard. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. I hope you had a great birthday. And uh, Gordon Sterling's joined us. Good morning, Gordon. Good to know that you're there. You're always a nice source of reassurance to the rest of us, you and Agnes. How did everything go the other night? We might, uh, it might be a bit early for that. We'll maybe discuss it next Sunday night. Longshank says, uh, a very good morning, Scotty. Can I get a shout out today as I'm out my dial? You're out your dial. You can always get a shout out. Peter Woods watching at Brian Hall. Welcome, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you for this Tuesday morning. It promises to be an absolute cracker because the joy of the show is uh, listening to you guys. Molly for Shetland, says Peter Woods. Good morning, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. And great with all your wonderful music up there in the Shetland Islands. Uh, good morning, Pa. Well, morning, Thomas Hamilton. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Welcome, welcome. This is where we get together at 10 o'clock every morning. Uh, Stephen Lipton's watching and Peter Connolly. Welcome, guys. Good to have you with us as well. And a big shout out to you all. Uh, good morning, Scotty. Did you do a good man? Did you do a good man? Brian Hall, always lovely to hear from you. I'm just going to do a share right away, guys, because otherwise... Uh, we get distracted, as you know, and we forget to share, and we don't want to do that. Kate Clark's watching. Good morning, Kate. Lovely to have you with us, and wah! Fantastic. Rich McCusker, Nick Low, Dingo Dallas is watching. Dinky Do, Dingo Dallas. Always good to have you with us. Good morning, Mr. McClue. Good morning, Mr. Connolly. Thank you for joining us. And uh, dinky do. Well, Scotty, I suffered a very embarrassing misfire on Sunday evening. Oh, God, and Sterling, my goodness me. Why are you trying to cartridge start an old diesel? Yes, you might be better with a blow lamp, Gordon, uh, you know, and go for the hot bulb. That's the stuff. Dinky do, Scotty, any good at cod? I'm trying to get a squad together. Cod. Is that some sort of, COD used to be cash on delivery, COD. Remember COD? You don't hear of COD now, but you do hear of coronavirus, of course. Oh, sorry, shouldn't be mentioning it during the program. I did pop on the news last night to see if there was any mention of coronavirus, and I was not disappointed. I can tell you that. So there we are. Thomas Peden, dink you do, Scotty. Thomas Peden, welcome. Always lovely to have you with us, Tom, and thanks very much. Tam, Tam there. And uh, Margaret Sheldon, good morning, Scotty. It's raining here today. Hope you are well, Margaret Sheldon. We had a wee shower of rain last night. Actually, a wee shower. Um, I'm surviving the lockdown, says Gordon Robertson, but I think a few friends could be doing with joining the pop-up as they are starting to crack up. They are not for joining, though. Well, they're very, 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 very silly, Gordon Robertson, because anybody that takes advice from you is a wise person indeed. And as our old friend Wally Shakespeare would have said, Will would have said, um, and it was his birthday the other day as well, so happy birthday to Shakespeare. And he would have said um, two things. One was, one of his insults was, I see thou art not 
for my company. <laughs> and uh, his other one would have been, um, a fool thinks he is wise, a wise man knows he is a fool. So double meaning there, you see, have a wee think about that one. So there we are. So your friend should certainly be joining because what we'll do on here, if somebody's cracking up, then we um, can probably help them considerably. And um, if not, we can drive them up the wall uh, a bit further. Maurice Scotty, reading today. Hope you're well. Margaret Sheldon, so lovely to hear from you. Thomas Hamilton's shared. Thanks, Tom. Uh, so there we are. And uh, poor Gordon with his misfire. These things are difficult. Cartridge start. Has anyone ever cartridge started an engine? Dinky do, Scotty, says William Wallace. Ah, it's yourself, Willie. Fantastic. We love that. So there we go. What have I done? I've lost y'all. What's happened? There we go. Oh, my goodness me. What's happened to you guys? <laughs> what has happened? What's going on here? Something's happened, and I don't know what it is. So there you are. I can't actually see. Let me see if we can get you back. Uh, oh, dear. Right, wait a minute. I don't know what's happened, guys. Oh, there you all are again. I do I do apologize. Uh, share, pal. Thanks, Thomas. Excellent stuff. Um, thank you for accepting my friend request. Not at all, Jack. Privileged to have you on board. Um, so any good at COD, Darren Meekin, we need, is there a COD for, a code for COD, or is it fishing? There we are, trying to get a squad together for the fishing. Um, or any good with God, could it be? Maybe a, a predictive text error. Uh, Steph McIlvenny is watching. Morning, Steph. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, and a warm welcome. Uh, so there we are. Yes, you get your friends to join. Everybody on uh, the platform should actually be joining us here at 10 o'clock sharp British summer time. GMD, GM, GMT plus one. Is that right? Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Thomas Pidden. What's happening? What's get them up? Finley Morris, get them up, Thomas. Good. No, I was trying for a, a wee in. A wee in. A wee start. Or, oh, you were trying for a win. Oh, sorry, Gordon. Yes, you would need to talk to an astronomer for that. What you've got, you'll find at the moment it's waxing the moon and then it will wane when it gets to the end of its cycle. So there you go. That's how that works. So it's astronomy, you and I. I thought it was engineering. Erin Foy, Thomas Peters getting Erin up. Uh, Thomas Bean, John Marshall, come on, John. Uh, you should be here. You should all be here. There shouldn't be any shortage of viewers at this time in the morning. Stick your telly off because there's nothing on television or radio that will beat this. Do you know what I'm saying? There we are. Zaikai Tang, dinky do. Paul Hunter, up you get. Marcella Foy. Morning, Scotty. The wee rain is here, says Sai Kai Tang. Sai Kai Tang is down in Liverpool. Is that right? Yeah, love the bones of you, Sai Kai Tang. Morning, Scotty boy. Can I get a special shout out for my mate, Billy? You can. Jack Arthur. A special shout out for Billy. So there we are. Um, Thomas Beedon, Jim Panton, up you get. Nicky McHugh, Dinky Do. Wonderful Royston Mail. Perhaps the finest producer in the world for television is watching right now. I salute you, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our humble morning live stream. Oh, my goodness. I could do with you at the moment, I'll tell you. My head's fried this morning, says Longshanks Leonard Scotty. I need the dulcet tones of your organ this morning. Um, right. What could we get you on the organ for long shanks? Let's start the organ early. Let me do one share, and then we'll start the organ early. Um, so if I went to the Scotty McClue, the big page, let everybody know what was happening, share it to the big page, and if you can all do the same, that would be brilliant. John Marshall's joined us. Kind of you to join us, John. Lovely to have you with us. Right, there's a bit of sharing going on here, I think, guys. What are we doing? 
Um, I don't know what's happened. Something's popped up here. And I'm just going to share. Ah, there we are. There we are. There we are. I've only had two shares this morning. What's going on? What's going on? Hoi, what's going on there? <laughs> cool. Everybody should be sharing. Right, guys, I'm going to share to, um, well, it'll come up what I'm going to share to. And then we'll give it, Longshanks is going to get a wee number on the organ. 405th Shakespeare birthday. Sai Kai Tang, are you sure? Because I thought Shakespeare was 400 in something like 1964, no? What was he in 64? Uh, so there we are. Is he just 405? So that would be him born in 1615. No, 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 no. No, he was around a lot before that, Sai Kai Tang. We recheck, please, on that one. Shakespeare's birthday. Mario Giscotti, Kareem Zachariah, Gordon Sterling, and 19 others are watching right now. have just joined us. Thomas Meaden, Gary Campbell, get tuned in. Stephen Riley, you get them up, Tom. That's what's going on here. Telling 10 to tell 10 here. You are Thomas. You're a top man. What a gem. Jim Higgins has joined us. And Brian Hall, Call of Duty game. Right, wait a minute, let's, we'll play games in a wee minute. Let, let's just get down here and get the sharing done. Sharing, sharing. So I'm sharing to my story. So that's gone out to my story to let them know that we're live. And David Phillips joined us. Welcome, David. Lovely to have you with us. And... Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. One more share, one more share. This takes a wee while. Uh, Call of Duty games, and what's going on there? Scotty, since the lockdown, I've painted the front fence, the back fence, the front of my house, the front step. Today it's the back of my house. My neighbour calls me Vincent. Why have you done, like, lots of sunflowers and things on it? <laughs> Vincent van Gogh up the road there. David Diston and Thomas Hamilton. Top people, it's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. Nikki McHugh, Jason McHugh, come and join us. Scotty's live. Absolutely, get the word out there. What is going on? Goodness gracious. You know, pass it round like you would a piece of gossip. <laughs> Somebody said you shouldn't spread gossip, and I thought, well, what else are you going to do with it? So there we are. Right, the big share is coming up, and we're sharing to... Uh, page, uh, wait a minute, oh, come on, for goodness sake, there we are, right, that's it, lovely, lovely, that'll come up, there it's going now, share, so this should come up and tell me, and I can share to the big Scotty McClue page, how's the tie this morning, am I looking nice and tidy for my lovely viewers, um, so there we are. Uh, Kareem, uh, Scotty, please find a web link to help save Loch Lomond. I don't usually send things like this, but I do feel strong about it. I love the place. It's part of our national treasure. Wonderful, Kareem. So saving Loch Lomond. The lovely Susan Forrest has joined us. Thank you, do, Susan. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, I need to share. Otherwise, I'll get distracted. I'll forget. Share on a page you manage. That's the one. And, oh, we're at the Earl Grey today. So, good morning. I hope you've all got a wee cuppa with you. A cuppy of tea. Oh, that's lush. That is lush. <laughs> lovely, lovely stuff. Right, here we go. There's lots to share here. I've got a choice. So, I'll share to the big Scotty McClue page and um, send that out right now. That should help things a wee bit. It's too early for me, says John Mar John Marshall. It is a quarter past ten in the morning, right? What is early about that? Some people have been up since five. Scott is the man to watch, says Thomas. You are. I am the man to watch. We are the one going up there, I'll tell you. This is the future of broadcasting, guys. Trust me. And if commercial television had any sense, they'd be phoning me right now and saying, can we pop this on on a Friday night between 11 and a half past, Scotty, and we'll give you your phones 
and you can take calls. So there we are. So big message to the commissioning editors of commercial television. Wakey, wakey, lads. Um, I like the organ at the end. It's a nice way to end a good show. Yeah, but Longshanks Leonard's got a bit of a heed. It was his um, birthday yesterday, and he's maybe needing something. He's at home. I'll play a wee at home song. Let me see. <clears throat> right, here we go. gentle wakey wakey up for the nation in the morning that's the kind of stuff we need to be looking at so there you go hi you two noggins richie excellent stuff good morning scotty says the lovely susan forrest Mwah! good morning susan forrest in lancashire i've got a watch party happening scotty just as good as a share thomas Peden, you know your stuff so i shall not uh, Interfere in any way, shape, or form, in thought, deed, or word. You're doing a wonderful, wonderful help there. David Phillips joined us. Excellent, David. I've got a watch party going as well, says Margaret Sheldon. Margaret Sheldon, are you not just amazing? Martin Byrne, hi from Glen Rothes. So there we are, Martin's up in Glen Roths, the home of the roundabout. Lovely. Shout out to Sean Grant, please, the Green Gears Bulls champion. Right, Thomas Peden, fantastic. Christine Agnew is watching. Welcome, Christine. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome to Scott McClue's live stream pop-up on Facebook Live, 10 o'clock sharp each weekday morning, 8 p.m. on a Sunday night. Diane Marchand, good morning, Scotty. Looking very dapper. You or me, Diane. I do like to try and tidy myself up a wee bit for my public because it's a mark of respect for who I'm going to see, and I'm going to see you. All right. Scotty, you're some boy. Can I get a shout-out for Chody? Uh, yes, you can indeed, Jack Arthur. A big shout-out for Chody. Good morning, Chody. Welcome to Chody. Um Jim X, come and join as well. Yes, absolutely. Angela Brown. Scotty McClure, what have you enjoyed about lockdown and what have you found a challenge about lockdown? I've enjoyed thoroughly the pop-ups and the conversations with all the wonderful, beautiful people in the world who join us. And everybody should be joining us on the platform. I'm not sure if they all get to see it or they all know about it. But there shouldn't be anybody in the human race who isn't able to access Scotty McClue's pop-up. So there we are. So we need to get the word out there big time, guys. You know, it's lovely, you know, a few thousand of us and stuff like that. But we need like a hundred thousand, quarter of a million, a million viewers. That sort of stuff. Everybody during lockdown should get to hear of the program, but I can only do so much because if I keep sending you and repeating sending people, oh, well, we saw that, Scotty. We know you're on at 10 o'clock. So it's the same people getting the message. We need new people all the time getting to hear of the program. I'd love if the platform just opened it up to the whole platform and then we could see who wanted to join us and who didn't, you know? I can't think of any reason not to join us, put it that way. Wonderful Danny McNeil's watching. Good morning, Danny. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Darren Meekin, the Carousel Waltz, Scotty, tremendous organ song and a famous intro. Absolutely. But, um, you know, I can't do too much music, obviously, for obvious reasons, so I just do the odd little snippet. Scotty, how much would I need to pay you to come and turn on the Paisley Christmas lights this year? Oh, Longshanks, 
For you, I wouldn't be wanting to charge you too much, so there you are. My clue depends on what the budget is. That's always the best thing. And um, if I can nip and do it, then obviously my fees are not astronomical. Nobody has ever said he wants what? Nobody's ever said that. They've always said Scotty McClure might not come cheap, but he certainly is good value. And I love that. You know, <laughs> I'll come cheap. But no, no, long shanks, I'm sure would be fine. Play the entertainer, please. Diane, I would love to, but it'd be highly, heavily copyrighted. So I can't do that on our live broadcast. I can just give you a wee snippet of something. Derek Walker's watching. Uh, dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Derek Walker. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, Scotty. Um, Sean Grant is a talented man. Thomas Peden, you see the kindest things. Do you know what I was saying yesterday? I hope you all heard me. What's so wonderful about this stream is we don't have a single idiot on it. I have wise, 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 beautiful, clever people. I was looking through the list of people that join us, and I thought, this is incredible. It's the intelligentsia of the world who meet at 10 o'clock in the morning. So there you are. Wonderful. The intelligentsia. Get up, Nori McLeod. Scotty's on, says Peter Connolly. Quite right, Peter. Excellent stuff. More sharing, guys. More sharing, more sharing. We must be sharing all the time. Get these figures up. They should be up around a couple of hundred. Robert Rovers is watching. Alistair King's watching. Dinky do, Alistair. Lovely to have you with us, our top engineer. Thanks for the shout-out, says Sean Grant. A great pleasure and a privilege, Sean. It's a shout-out show. So there we go. It's a very novel way of doing a live stream. And um, everybody seems to just love it. So we'll just go with the flow, you know. My old boss used to say, <clears throat> when I was at my height, before the nonsense started at, um, at Scott FM, and uh, I got chased out the door by the new owners. Before all that started, my old boss was an absolute top, top, top person. And um, one of the very senior management from an ITV company. And he said to me, he said, um, they were going through all the programs and what adjustments needed to be made. And they came to Scotty McClure and all looked at each other. And he told me this himself. He was chairing the, 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 the board meeting. They all looked at each other and he said, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> that was a, that's proper management, I can tell you. <clears throat> I used to get up at 6 a.m., but lockdowns turned me into a slob. Now you get up at 5 a.m. There you are. You look terrible at that time, don't you, John? Not at all. I'm sure you look superb. When's your next evening slot, says George Newton. George, we're just doing, uh, the evenings are Sunday night, 8 p.m. sharp. But there is talk, if you guys are up for it, of um, doing evenings, maybe 10 o'clock, for a bit of a chit-chat. I don't know if anybody's up for that. We used to always be watching the news, but the news is kind of samey now. It's very, very depressing. And sometimes after a few minutes of it, you think, no, we don't need any more. This is too upsetting. I still haven't fessed up to what happened to me on Sunday night, what I did after we'd broadcast. Uh, the lovely Fiona Kennedy is watching, one of our finest singing stars. Welcome, Fiona. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very nice lady. An exceptionally nice lady. So there we are. Um, Thomas Peden, Sean Smythe is watching all the way in Drum Chapel. He's finding lockdown hard because his local pub is shut and he can't spend his life at the pub. Sean says watching. Lovely, lovely to have you with us, Sean. Welcome, welcome. And I am sure, don't worry, I don't listen to all that. I am sure you maybe have visited a pub very infrequently. There you are. Stephen Riley. All right, with McLear and the Squirrel, followed by live music from Pudgy. Right, Thomas Peden. Excellent. 
Dinky do, Paul Hunter says. Dinky do, Paul. Lovely, lovely. More sharing. Sharing. What's going on? What are we doing? We're just not thinking, guys. We need to share to the Scotty McClue group. Now, that's about 3,000 of us who are fans. Uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Scotty McClue. <laughs> uh, Gordon Hadley. Morning, Scotty. Can you wish my friend April a happy 50th birthday? Thank you. Lorraine Quinn. I can indeed. Happy 50th, April. I suspect you were called April because you were born in April. What a lovely, lovely name. I love it. So you are an Aries. Is that right? Would you be an Aries? So they are Lorraine Quinn. Find out if April is an Aries. Right. I need to get on with the sharing, guys. You're, you're keeping me back here. You're interrupting. Ah, oh dear, oh, dear. What am I to do? Share in a group. Right, I'm sharing in a group now. So there we go. We're sharing in a group. Fantastic. And we're sharing the Scotty McClue fan group. So those of you that have joined that, look out for that. It's a Facebook group. About 3,000 of you are in it. And um, that's excellent. We love that. Now that will come up. This takes a wee while. When I become, when I recover, I told you a guy more or less re relieved me of my life savings in a business venture. The only bad person I've ever watched. And when I get money back, I'm going to buy a computer, a fast one, one of these that goes zoop, everything. When you put something in to, to upload, it goes like this. <laughs> Instead of... Have you ever had that? Uh, the wonderful Alex Hall's watching. Good morning, Alex, my fellow broadcaster and uh, an absolute top lady. One of the world's finest actresses and uh, a superb talk show host. Wonderful. Now, being a talk show host, and I can talk about this because I have had a little experience, and uh, being a talk show host is not for the faint-hearted, I can tell you. So there we are. Uh, well done. Ha-ha, Mad Scotty. You used to be on Real Radio years ago. Have a fine day. Stephen Riley, I shall do my very best. Very best. Have a fine day. How are we, Scotty boy? Says Paul Hunter. We're great, Paul. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm still sharing. Are you all sharing, guys? Share to the big groups. Get these numbers up. Uh, share again, everybody. Come on. And type in. Type, 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 type. Um, tap, 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 tap on your keyboards. Put in all the people you know on Facebook. Get them up. Get them joining us. That's what makes this such an outstanding program. A wonderful live stream because of you. So there you are. Right. News from Alistair King. Newsflash, everybody. The bike should be back tomorrow, Scotty. It's almost finished. Paint, primer, and base coat yesterday. Top coat and lacquer today. Thought you said lager. Thought you were having your, gonna put on your top coat and have a lager. Uh, lacquer today, and then a good polish wax MOT on Monday. I'm like a kid in a toy shop waiting to. <laughs> Wait a minute. Like a kid in a toy shop waiting to get back on the open road. Now, Alistair, I know nothing about it, but I once went to help a bus company, a company that built buses. And I was doing a bit of my media advisor bit, as I do for a lot of top companies. And um, they said at the end, they said, uh, Scotty, can we take you and, and show you um, one of our buses in the workshop? And when I went in there, I said, well, your paint sprayer certainly knows what he's doing. That paint works gorgeous. He said, well, that's not sprayed, Scotty. That's hand painted. My jaw hit the deck. And I said, hand painted? How can you get a finish like that? And I think he was wondering how a television man knew so much about bus finishes. And uh, he said, just very good painters. Good professional painters. And you want to have seen this, I'm telling you. It was absolutely amazing, Alistair. Beautiful finish on the bus, hand-painted. 
So there we are. But uh, obviously you're not going down that road. But how long do you need between the coats? Very interesting. Big shout out for the squirrel bar crew. Yabba dabba doo. Stephen Riley. Excellent. You sound like quite a squad. Um, can I get a big trippy shout out? Pardon me, for Andrew Quinn and Marcus G. Longshanks, you certainly can. Andrew Quinn, Marcus G., big shout out from Longshanks Leonard, just for thee. See what I did there, Longshanks, turned it into a wee poem. Uh, Scotty, demand £50 and a fish supper as payments for the Xmas lights. Ooh, that's quite a, a, that's a lot of money, I have to say. So there we are. Mind you, a fish supper's no cheap either. You're, what, five and a half quid minimum? I have a lovely, lovely, lovely uh, fish shop that um, does me them for, uh, I think it's five and a half pounds, might be six pounds now, two pieces. Oh, Thomas Whedon, 10 p.m. on Facebook Live. Make it happen, Scotty. Do you think so, Tom? Do you think that would be quite a good... Uh, Tam, sorry, Tam. I forgot we were on the brig there. Uh, Scotty McLean Management nowadays is a style of robot. Um, yes, not Scotty McLean Management. Scotty McLean Management is a style of robot. Yes, even a lot of people who are so-called managers are a bit automaton in, uh, in their kind of dealings with uh, the so-called other people you know what i mean it's not terribly good i mean i can remember when a manager was a manager and managed the people and came out and managed you it was excellent dave anderson thank you do lovely to have you with us morning scotty i stopped watching the news weeks ago as you say it's the same old rhetoric it's too depressing i had to put it off that night but confession time are we ready for mcclure's big confession Get sharing. I want to see that up around the 50, 60 mark. Okay? So if everybody can share, double that wee figure up in the corner. Let's get this on the move. April is Taurus, Scotty. Well, Alistair King, maybe late April, but early April is certainly Aries. I can tell you that. Taurus is more maybe late April and May. Would that be right? Taurus the Bull. My father was a Taurian. So they are, and uh, I'm uh, I'm very friendly with Torians. Yes, not a bad sign. The bull. Oh, John Gallagher's watching. Thank you, do John. Uh, Scotty McClure will confess uh, in three minutes' time. I'm giving you three minutes to double that figure. If that goes to fifty, I will fess up what I did the other night. So there we are. Um, Martin Burns, Sunday, I could not get you. Kept freaking up. Martin Burns, can I direct you? I don't know if you can scroll down Scotty McClure's page and you might get um, a copy sitting there for Sunday night. We had a good old turnout on Sunday night and um, we might get a copy for that or... If you go on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, which is just youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. And, uh, and that will pop up. Oh, and thank you. Talking of forward slash and all that to all those of you that put a few pennies into, um, Scotty McClue's PayPal account. So there we are. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. So good of you. I thank you. Um, so there we are. I don't want you freaking up. So you get yourself a wee copy on the uh, on the YouTube there. John Jones is watching. Although it's interesting. People like to um, see a live video. You know, I mean, we do pick up a lot of viewers later in the day. So a few watching now becomes a few thousand. But uh, having said that, people do like a live video and they like the shout outs. Long shanks, Leonard. Scotty, I think you might be my real dad. Let me have a wee think about that, Long Shanks. Uh, Scotty McClure, 8 to 9 on a Sunday is good, even 9 to 10, 10 to 11. 
people will be going to bed. I think so, Kareem, and I notice social media, although there are a, a, a raft of people on social media at all times, I notice people like the earlier evenings. I once popped up just to say hi at five to six on a Friday night, holiday weekend, and eight and a half thousand people joined me. But I think the platform was different in those days. You know, the algorithm is slightly different. So the numbers are a little bit less. I think there's just so much media out there. But I would hope Scotty McClure is one of the top watches. The wonderful Brian Wolfson is watching. One of our finest Scottish broadcasters and a very, very nice man. So there you are. Brian Wolfson, how is the time on the station clock? Would it be coming up to 25 to 11? Is that a possibility? Brian Wolfson, great broadcaster. Try and get hold of Brian Wolfson, guys. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. There we are. Uh, Kevin Roberts, Stinky Do. They use coach, a coach painter's brush. It's very fine-haired. But so am I, Alistair King. I'm very fine-haired. I'll not be taking this off. I'll tell you, I'll show you just how fine-haired I am. They use a coach painter's brush. It's very fine-haired. I have done a car with one before, but that's what they did with the old buses. Well, I can tell you, Alistair, I squinted and squinted at this um, until I was just about going skelly, and there was not a ripple in that paint. And I've seen them do the wheel and the coaches, like the Queen's coaches, a wee tiny thin brush, and they go, whoo, and do a coach line in the middle of the side of the coach wheel. I mean, come on, what a skill. Mind you, a lot of the very skilled hoose painters, you know, I, I've got an excellent hoose painter here, and they could do flecking and um, marbling, and um, staining, and eggshell finishing, stippling, oh, graining. I remember once uh, we had a, a, an old stone hoose, and the hoose painter grained the front door. And, oh, it looked gorgeous. It was a grey green. Very clever. Morning, Scotty, says John Jones. Morning, John Jones. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, we need to do another share. What's going on? Where are we sharing this time? I don't know. I'm, I'm losing track. <laughs> Wonderful. So we're sharing with another group, I think. Let's see if we get one of the big groups. Can everybody share, 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 general share? Uh, correct, says Stephen Riley. Absolutely, Stephen Riley. What is correct? Uh, 11 o'clock, so one minute silence today for our key workers who have died. But I'm sure I'll be doing the one minute silence for everyone who has died to coronavirus. Absolutely, Jack. Very good of you. We'll stop a little bit earlier this morning so people can join in the silence at 11 o'clock. So there we are. Um, Derek Walker, dinky do. Unless we stayed up and all joined in it for a minute, would that be better? Tell us what you think. Husbands must be celebrating. Don't have to visit the mother-in-law. Oh, the poor mother-in-law. Do you remember the wonderful Les Dawson with the mother-in-law, Jones? Mother-in-law came round the other day, Sunday. Book it in rain. Absolutely coming down in steroids. Open the door, I says, love. Don't stand out there getting soaked. Away home. <laughs> Go a funny true story, out in Balloch one day, I stood next to a guy with a wee dog waiting on the train. The barrier going up as it was in the days of the old Balloch station. Guy with a dog started arguing with a, another guy and he ties the dog to the barrier and as he's squaring up to the other guy, the train comes in and up goes the barrier with a wee dog tied to it. Luckily, I managed to get the guy in the tower's attention to lower it again. Oh, poor wee dog. That's heartbreaking. That's not funny. That's heartbreaking. Yes, the wee dog. It would have been funnier if the guy had tied his belt to the barrier. Said, come on, have a free, have a free one, you know. 
If you think you're big enough, all that stuff that they used to do, these dafties that squared up to each other. You see a bit less of it now, but, you know, handbags at dawn. Morning, Scotty. Dinky do. Says Kevin Roberts. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Michael Yule. Dinky do. And uh, Nikki McHugh, Stuart Mean. I'm glad you're here, Scotty, to make my working day easier, says Longshanks. I'd rather be in donuts in the motor, doing donuts in the motor on a bit of spare ground. <laughs> a donut in the motor. Big shout out to wee crazy Betty, big smash and wee tam, says Stephen Riley. Right. Uh, wee Betty, big smash and wee tam. The monster-in-law, I call them, says John Marshall. Does anybody remember the rise and fall of Reginald Perrin? Right? Wonderful, wonderful. With this tremendous actor and wonderful articulation this actor had. Leonard Rossiter. And um, when his wife used to talk about the mother-in-law, he just got a flashback to a hippopotamus. I think it was a hippopotamus or was that a wild boar? I can't remember. And that was the rise and fall of Reginald Perrin with this wonderful actor called Leonard Rossiter, who also was in Rising Damp. He was the landlord in Rising Damp. And he was a wonderful articulatory um, actor. You know, I mean, his articulation and his diction was per perfect. P -p -p Perfect. Uh, Scott McClure, let's do the one minute silence at 11. Shall we do it on here, Kareem? Lloyd Duff's watching. Dinky do, Lloyd. Great you're doing these shows, Scotty. The live stream is real life. Yes, it is. Good one, Kevin. Just scanning social media makes people lose reality and live a simulated life. Well, we'll make them live a stimulated life, Kevin Roberts. That's what we will do on here. This is very real. And a guy the other night, and he was trying to, people sometimes do this, they have a go at me. And he was having a bit of a go, and he was saying, are you sure it's for us, or is it for you? And I said, look, he said, you're living in the past. And I said, look, this is the future. I said, and of course it's for the people. When the people get fed up, I'll stop doing it. Now, don't stop doing it and pretend you're fed up, guys. You know, you've got to be really fed up. But, uh, you know, I'll stop doing it. It's not a problem. Do you know, and, and it's funny how people have a go. Instead of going, thanks, Scotty, we enjoy the pop-ups like virtually everybody in the world does. Are you sure that this is for the people and not for you? You know, it's, it's just daft. I mean... I don't need any introduction to the people. Virtually everybody in the UK knows me. Most of the people in the world know me. Do you know what I mean? This is just us getting together for a bit of fun. Uh, Stevie Wilkie, thank you, dear. I don't know if you saw my message before, Scotty. I thanked you for accepting my friend request. I did see it, Jack, and I announced it to the nation. So I don't know if you heard it. Aha! Lloyd Duff. The day we meet, and it's me tipping my bonnet saying, what's up? I learned from the people I stayed with. There we are. Lloyd Duff, good for you. What? What's up? Lancashire, what's to do? What's to do with thee, flower? Gemma and Marie McRae, dinky-doo. Dinky-doo usually goes with the Scottish. Do it with style. Absolutely. Lloyd Duff, dinky-doo. Uh, I've done a minute's silence for my steak pie my wife cooked last week. It was burnt to a crisp. Oh, Terry. Do you not remember the guy who said, I think my wife thinks I'm a Greek god because she gives me a burnt offering. Harsh. I would say if I was the wife nowadays, the way your modern women are, um, you know, I would just say, well, just you do it next time, okay, and I'll I'll pass comment. You know, very good. Uh, Mammy Smash kept the French toast coming. Oh, John Marshall, stop. Some people won't have had a late plate of wheat bags. They might not have had their breakfast. And you're going on about French toast, known in Scotland as eggy bread. 
<laughs> we love it. Rising Damp, John Jones, Rising Damp it was, Leonard Rossiter and Francis de la Tour. Fantastic, outstanding actors. And if you listen to Leonard Rossiter, he just rattles off the line. So they are, good morning, Scotty. Sorry I'm late. Gemma and Marie McRae, you know very, very well. There are absolutely no sanctions for being late. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us, I tell you. Robert Rovers, the mother-in-law's been coming to mind for Christmas for the last five years. This year I'm doing something different. I'm letting her in. <laughs> I love that about the uh, the guy um, with the self-isolating, you know. Is it safe to let the wife in now? And all? I can't remember it. Big Steve Kilgallen's on. First day back at work. Dinky do, Stephen Riley. It was a hippo in Reginald Perrin, says Robert Rovers. You're right, Robert. It was a hippo. Guys, I need to share. That's why we're getting tiny figures if we don't share. Come on. You've got to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Do you know why I've just found we've only got about 15 minutes left? And then we'll do the silence. So there we are. Excellent stuff. I'll take my bonnet off for the silence, you know. So there we go. And um, right, I'm just going to share it with a group here. Okay. So silence at 11 o'clock for every day that's passed away with coronavirus. If you want, we'll stay up and do it here together. Would that be all right? Um, so there we are, just for one minute's silence. Okay. Right, guys, I've just shared this. So we'll see what happens. Excellent stuff. Um, yes, it was. It was a hippopotamus. Please do not stop, Scotty. So there we are. We'll just stop for the silence at 11 o'clock because we'll be finishing up. But we'll be back tomorrow at 10 o'clock sharp, Gemma and Marie McCree. Never miss a moment of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. Long shanks. We'll never be fed up of you, Scotty. Long shanks. You see the loveliest things. Thank you. Oh, my goodness me. My wife got upset at Christmas when she asked, what will we get my mum? All I did was suggest... A new broomstick? <laughs> Mothers, mother-in-laws can be a wee bit hard on the, the wife's partner. I think there's two reasons for this. Very often, um, they like to see that their daughter's getting everything they think she's entitled to. And also, I think sometimes in some cases, there's a wee bit of wishing that they were married to the son-in-law themselves. Do you not think so? You know, they think, oh, I could marry him myself. She's, she's that lucky. I don't know if she really appreciates just what a super guy he is. There's all that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, what do you think? Tell me, tell me. Like we can discuss mother, mothers-in-law. See what I just did there? Mothers-in-law would be the plural. Like, um, I don't know if any of you have ever had any dealings with a procurator fiscal, and the plural of that would be procurators fiscal. Yes? I don't know if any of you have ever been up before a sheriff or a sheriff substitute, and the plural of that would be sheriff's substitute. Do you see what I mean? That's how that works. Uh, you should do three mornings and two late nights, Scotty. When do you get more viewing? Have you noticed? Keep up the entertaining. It just depends on the day, how many we get. Some days we get a few hundred people. Other days we get a few thousand. You know, our first pop-up was, uh, it's sitting up around 6,000, something like that. And I've had pop-ups at 30,000, joined by 30,000 people. Uh, Kareem says, I think Sir Scott McClure is a mark of respect. Uh, live here and everyone's watching. Absolutely. We're live here and everyone's watching. Uh, Jack says, I didn't hear it, Scotty. I must have been away when you were reading it out. Jack, never miss a moment of McClure. You miss a moment of life. And does the radio and television stations know whoever has McClure has the market? Aha. Uh -huh. 
It's definitely not the past, Scotty. A new platform and a new direction in bringing people together. Viewers interact on the stream, something that's not possible in radio. Keep up the good work. Kevin Roberts, you're absolutely right. We don't have this on the radio. But what I will say to you is either play out on Facebook one of our live shows or um, go on to YouTube, Scott McClure's YouTube channel, and play out a live show. But don't watch it. Listen to it as a piece of radio. Go about your business in the kitchen or the sitting room or your home office or uh, or the, the, the lave or whatever it is you're doing and have a listen and see if you think it sounds like the radio. It's quite interesting. I'm getting a lot of very positive feedback on that. People say, I just listen to Scott McClure on YouTube now. You know, and they're just listening. They don't need to watch. You know, so have a think about that because obviously you can have YouTube on in your phone, Facebook on in your phone. Somebody said on a Sunday night, I'm sitting on the bus watching you, Scotty, and the woman in front's watching you as well. You know, that sort of stuff. George Newton's watching Longshanks Leonard. Can I get a shout out for my brother, Sean Leonard, and his wean, Darla? You certainly can, Longshanks. Shout out, done. I had some eggy bread on Sunday for my breakfast. Oh, Jack, it's, it's gorgeous, especially if you get the temperature just right in the pan. Um, and mention me. So there you are. Now, tell me about eggy bread. What time do we have? Well, we need to be careful of our time. But tell me about eggy bread. Do you find that um, if I'm frying bread, and I know I shouldn't, but um, it's not the finest thing for my heart, but if I'm frying bread, I like to toast it a little bit first before it goes in the pan. So should French toast be toasted prior to being dipped in the egg? Or would that make it too much less absorbent? So there we are. Wonderful. Gemma Anne Marie McCree says, and mention me. Yes, for mentioning you, Gemma Anne Marie McCree. Do not worry. David Turner's watching. Sometimes the live number in the corners sticks. Yes, it does, I think. So that should be up at it may not be the true numbers, though it should be up there in a few hundreds already. When we come on, it's going, woo, woo, woo. That's what we need to get to. But that relies on all of you sharing it, guys. Derek Walker, my wife wears an eye mask when she's cooking. She's cooking blind. Thank you, Derek Walker. What I've started doing is wearing a mask in the house even if it's just me in it on my Todd, um, because I'm hoping it might stop me eating. There we are, long shanks. I challenge you to a drag race, Scotty. We could be like uh, Vin and Paul Walker. Ah, yes, absolutely. Well, I'm, uh, I'm a dab hand at the old handbrake turn, you know. Uh, the wonderful Kenny Hyde's watching Dinky Doo Kenny. What that man does not know about cars is not worth knowing. And an outstanding businessman. So there we are. So Kenny Hyde, lovely to have you with us. What you should do someday, Kenny, is Skype and discuss cars with us. That would be fantastic. Scotty, can I get a special shout out for all the team up in the RA doing a terrific job during all this? So there we are. You can, Jack Arthur. The team in the RAH, yes, the Royal Alexandra Hospital in Paisley, where I think they take in from all over the West Coast. Am I correct? People coming down from Mull and, and Call and Tyree, would they come to the Royal Alexandra Infirmary in Paisley? We thank you. All the health workers, we thank you. Rosemary Mac's watching the wonderful Rosemary Mac. Dinky do, Rosemary. I hope lockdown is going well with that man of yours. My wife suggested I help around the house more during lockdown. So yesterday I emptied the dishwasher. Yes. Um, and then she complained I never put the dishes away. You can't win, Scotty. <laughs> Stephen Mulgrew is watching. Welcome, Stephen. Always lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo from everybody here at Scotty McClue and the pop-up. 
Well, wonderful. My mother always tells my wife we'd be a waste of another couple if we weren't together. Stephen Riley, that's like the couple that had been going together for 18 years. And one Sunday night on the way back from the dancing, she says to him, do you know think it's time we got married? And he says, aye, but who's going to have us? <laughs> they would have radio stations, don't know what they're missing. Snowflake, world we live in. I know, Derek John Murray, this could be live on a radio station by mid-morning, quarter of a million people used to come and join me every half hour. Your problem with a lot of it is your programmers are used to putting um, hit music into their computer and they think, oh, what, the old guy with that? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh no, that wouldn't fit with our music. And they don't realise, no, but it would pay your salary. <laughs> Michael Farkin is a top, top man. I remember a manager pulling me up in a radio station and I was far too um, kind to say to him, listen, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> I was paying his wages. Uh, so there we are. Michael Farkin is a top, top man. He is. Thomas been Hugh Beatty. Thank you, Hugh. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, how are we for time? Keep me up to date. We're having silence at 11 o'clock. I will say have a good day again. Well done, everyone, for showing respect. And dinky-doo. Yes, Kareem. I was up at 5 a.m., so I must have been up before the sheriff. Noggins, Richie. We don't know what time the sheriff gets up. Uh, this show is the best in the country. I'm surprised it hasn't got a bigger platform. Surely it's just a matter of time. Peter Connolly, I genuinely believe you're 100% correct. I think it is only a matter of time till some bright spark wises up and says, I want to take this program to greater heights. We want it on satellite. We want it on digital. We want it on something. But everybody in the nation must come and join us. My two great broadcasting legends and my two great role models were a guy called Terry Wogan, who you may be familiar with, and a guy called Jimmy Young. And before Terry Wogan was a guy called Ray Moore. And uh, and then we had another wonderful guy called Ken Bruce. So these were the things I grew up with on radio. And uh, I mean, I had my first radio station when I was nine. Partly could even hear it in the garage. Uh, so there we are. So Peter Conley, I think, yes, this show will grow. Um, got Scotty back. I lost you for a bit. Oh, Margaret Sheldon. Minute silence at 11 a.m., says Geroid, Geroid Martin, Geroid Martin, bonjour, lovely to have you with us, Geroid, am I pronouncing it correctly, and um, je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite, si tu parles de mon, peut-être je comprends, oui, Jack says, for me, I don't toast my bread, but I think it's just a general preference. It does the bread get toasted in eggy toast anywhere, though? That's what I was just inquiring. Um, your radio days mess with my circadian rhythms. Most nights I would turn on the radio with the intention of just listening for half an hour and then going to sleep. Most nights I would hear you end the show. Kevin Roberts, were you around when you used to end the show with the theme tune, You Can't he Shove Your Granny Off a Bus? And people used to ring in and sing it with me. It's outstanding. So there were Putin, YouTube, Scotty McClue singing the song. And you'll find it there. You still can't beat grilled cheese and onion toast with plenty of pepper, says the wonderful Alistair King. Stop, you're making us all hungry. Scotty, you should do some live interviews on Skype. Yes, we might do that. That's a thought. Uh, I used to love your show on Scott FM. Called you a few times in them days. Ah, Peter Connolly, you're a fine man, and we're still together 25 years later. We are still talking. That says something about the Scott FM show. Does it not? Was Finley Morris late today? Oh, Thomas Peden, I haven't marked him. Uh, in, I can't tell you. 10.58, Scotty. Susan Forrest, 10.59. Can I get the goodbye song after the minute silence? 
an ode to the melted brain. Yes, you can. Let me just get my clock for the silence. Oh, I have got the station clock. There you are. Right, it'll look backwards. Right, the silence now, guys. Take my bonnet off. And that silence, everybody, was for all the people who have passed away during the coronavirus uh, outbreak. And we say to them, thank you. Thank you for your wonderful life. Thank you for everything you brought to everyone. And um, Requiescat in Pache, rest in peace, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Indeed, love the granny song and the hoose song. Jim Gallagher, Stephen Minnie's watching. Dinky do, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, I'll need to dash. We're out of time. The goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, and cheerio. Thank you, thank you for watching. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay home, stay safe, stay fabulous. If you have to go out, you're a key worker. We send you strength, love, and blessings. From me, Scotty McClue, thanks for today. Join us tomorrow, 10 o'clock sharp, for another lockdown special. Until then, dinky do. Wonderful again. Thank you, Peter Conley, to all NHS staff and family who lost loved ones from Geroid Mertin. And um, love you, Scotty. Bless you, Jack. Dinky do, everybody. Love you all. <laughs>